Hello everybody and welcome to my video review of the Casio G-Shock Giaz model and it's the GS1000BJ it's a Japanese watch and opening up the outside cardboard box reveals an instruction manual now the instruction manual is written in Japanese so if you wanted to download the instruction manual in your own language uh, you can feel free to go to the Casio website and you'll download for module 4343 and you can download it to a PDF format so it don't give you an idea on how to use the functions on the watch. And opening up the outside box reveals a nice leatherette box inside. Got the nice grain on the side. Got a good look to it. And opening up the leatherette box is the watch itself. And I want to uh, just acknowledge uh, Casio's great use of uh, their packaging lately. It's uh, not just the purchase of the watch itself, but it's the experience in getting to the watch. And you know, I always appreciate that when companies, uh, you know, just give you a nice package. It's good marketing, good PR. Now, the watch itself, interestingly, has a rubber band and not a resin band like most of their watches. And the rubber band has a nice comfortable smooth feel to it it's got a screw back design they use chrome on the buttons and the screws on the side and it's got a nice gunmetal finish which makes it all black including on the screws on the left and the right side of the dial as well so it's a very sharp looking watch it's good for casual wear it's good for work um, this is pretty much going to be an everyday wearer for me for a while. And it's got the three dials. It's got the 24-hour format on the dial on the left. It's got dual time and the alarm display on the right. And your seconds hand is on the bottom. And when I was looking at reviews of this watch and different photos, I thought that the third hand that they have that goes up to 12 o'clock position here, I had thought that that was a seconds hand. That's actually a, a function hand. So uh, that's how you'll tell the various functions when you go through the watch. The seconds hand is actually on the bottom here, and then it displays the date. Now, this is an atomic watch. It syncs with the Japanese tower and the United States tower, and it's also a tough solar. And if you wanted to see if the watch did sync to the tower the night before, you press the adjust button, and if it goes below the 3 o'clock, it did not sync. If it goes above the 3 o'clock, it did. Now, I actually did sync it last night, but I think this morning I uh, had tried to get the signal to see if I can get it during the daytime, and it did not. So that's why it did go to the no function there. And you do have an alarm on this watch as well. So when you press the alarm... I have it set for just after 7 o'clock, and there's an on-off button on the top here, or signal, and you can set it to go off or on, and it gives you a, conf a confirmation tone if the, watch is, if the uh, alarm is on. Then you have the chrono which zeroes out the function hand and zeroes out the right hand. So when you want to use the chrono, it resets itself. Everything sets itself at zero. Press it again. And it's a stopwatch that goes up to 23 hours, 59 minutes, and 59.5 seconds. And if you want to stop the chronogram, you press the button again. If you want to start it again, you press it again. And if you just want to reset it, you press the adjust button. Then you have the world time. World time is a great feature. Um, I like to keep my secondary time on LA time. I have friends out there. I have customers. And I keep my primary at New York City. And you can actually adjust it by pressing this button. It would move it around the dial. Uh, around the bezel itself is the all the countries that this can set those times too along with customary ones so if you want to go to a specific country you just press this button and it goes incrementally from country to country until you get to the one that you want and then that 
dial over here will display the time of that country. Now, if you press this button and this button both together, what it does is it go it reverses the time. It goes from this that, that being the secondary time to the primary time, and then New York would show up in that sub dial. So it's a nice little uh, feature there. As a matter of fact, I'll just give you an example here, but it does take a little while. And now it's setting itself back to LA time on the regular watch. While the sub dial just set itself to the secondary time being New York. This watch is very functional. It's got five motors. And I personally like the fact that it takes that time to do what it does. It just uh, you know, kind of makes me appreciate the technology behind it. If you happen to be a technology person that you really like the technology behind things, this watch would be perfect for you. I would definitely uh, suggest this purchase to anybody. Um, it's just a great looking watch. If you go to Casio's website, they have... Um, the, the metal area is available in different colors. You can go for all gold on the metal areas. You can go for silver. They have blue faces. There's a lot of different options that you can get as far as the looks of this watch. So it, it, I think it'll appeal to a wide audience. And I have a 7.5 inch wrist. And one thing that I had the impression of when reading the reviews was that this was a smaller watch. Um, it's actually not a small watch at all. Like I said before, it is very comfortable. The rubber band makes it very comfortable to wear. It stays put. And it's got some good weight to it. It's all steel casing, so it's got some really good weight to it as well. So, I want to thank you very much for visiting my video review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're thinking about getting one of these, I would definitely suggest it. Or if you just wanted to uh, look at some of the functions available on the watch just as an admirer, it's definitely a watch to admire, that's for sure. So thanks again. Until next time.